Hi, I'm Sarah and my daughter Amelia joined Queen's School um, actually in year nine. So she joined at the start of the year nine term, entering those um, years towards her GCSE study. Um, and one of the reasons why we did this is um, really very led by Amelia's decision, but she's got a real passion for her study um, and the subjects that she was studying. And she really desired an environment that allowed her to feel like she was being seen as an individual. Um, so she come previously from a, a much larger high school, um, but she felt as though she wasn't able to be heard or understood, um, or that the teaching was necessarily tailored to um, something that you know she, she was in line with or that was of her ability or understanding. Um, the second part of it really as well was um, to do with the social and pastoral elements. So Amelia's really sporting, um, quite an introverted child, but yet out outgoing when it comes to, to sporting and activities. Um, and during you know, COVID and lockdown, she'd lost a lot of the opportunity um, in her sporting clubs, in her swimming and in her netball and with her athletics. And she was looking really to find an environment which combined her study, but with the social side as well. So we started looking in the local area um, at certain options. Um, I think certainly from a, from a parent's point of view, um, you know, one of the main drivers for us was that Amelia was able to really kind of catch up and accelerate towards her GCSE years. And, and for that reason, we kind of started narrowing our search down to um, private schools and private education. Um, and really from, um, I spoke to a number of schools in the area, but from the very, very first step with Queen's, that emailing um, and that contact with Jane in the admissions team, I just got a really, really good feeling. Um, I spoke to Jane, really personable. Um, she really cared about us as a family and as about Amelia and, and what Amelia wanted. So really from that very first call, um, we, we felt as though Jane really wanted to understand our family and our family needs. Um, so that quickly accelerated to a taste today uh, where we bought Amelia. Um, I think the canteen was a big, it. Um, of, of the things that Amelia remembers from the taste today, the canteen menu was scored right up there quite high. Um, but, but joking aside, I think she could see that the social aspect, you know, it was a smaller environment, um, the class sizes were much smaller than what she'd been used to, which gave her the, the confidence that she could be spoken, be heard um, and really work at her pace. But then the, the social aspects as well. So at lunchtime, she could sit and have a lunch with the people that she worked with and her friends, um, and that she could do activities that previously might have been out after school or um, clubs at the weekend, that she could do those clubs during lunchtime and during breaks as well, which even now since she's joined has been a huge, huge hit. She does all sorts, gardening, origami, netball, uh, football. So um, she's really, really enjoying that social aspect side as well. When we were looking around and, and looking at Queen's, obviously I'd done my own research um, and quite clearly you could see from an educational standards and from the results that the students were getting that the level of education um, was really good. And so then you really think about the pastoral side of things and how do I gauge or how do I measure the pastoral side? Because certainly for uh, me and my husband and, and Amelia, that was equally as important. Um, I believe that, you know, as long as the, the school environment allows for learning, uh, the ability to learn is very much based on your own happiness and, and your own fit. Um, so actually I, I spoke, uh, I, I asked around, I, um, I did speak to a couple of the parents here myself to understand how their daughters are getting on. And every single person I spoke to uh, quite clearly said, Queen's locally, are absolutely the best for pastoral care. Um, obviously followed that up by coming and having a visit and speaking to some of the, the teachers and the students myself and, and that really um, solidified for me that that was the case and even since Amelia's joined actually, you know, she's had a couple of wobbles. Um, it, it's a big deal moving school at the, the age of 13. Um, and what's always shocked me in a good way is the number of teachers I know that have called me, that have reached out to me, that are able to articulate an understanding of Amelia and her needs. Um, and that they take the time to sit with her and talk to her and explain things. And in the last three months, um, you know, I really feel as though we've had more contact and 
discussion than of three years of, of schooling beforehand. So um, pastorally, you know, couldn't ask for better. Um, when we were looking at schools, um, co-ed or, or single sex, um, it wasn't really kind of in our search criteria. So it wasn't really important for us that we had an all girls school or that we had a co-ed school. Um, it was more important that the school itself felt like the right fit for Amelia. However, um, I must say, you know, as a, as a female myself and as a female in business, I'm absolutely um, a big supporter in, in women in business, but that very much that that equality and those opportunities are led from a very, very young age, that girls are given the same opportunity as the boys. Um, and so when we came to Queen's and started looking round, um, I definitely had hair stand up on my arms when we got to the boardroom. And um, the, the lady showing us around explained that they do have sessions where they get the girls to sit around the boardroom table. They may have to pitch or present to the board or to the other teachers regarding an opportunity. Um, and it was then that kind of made me realise that the power of, of the all girls school for my daughter um, in really giving her the, her own confidence and self-belief that she can achieve whatever she wants to. What I would say is if you're currently looking around for schools um, or considering Queen's, please do come in, speak to the admissions team, have a taste a day, have a look around yourself. Um, it's a very personal thing, um, I think, and for each of us when we're looking for schools, we're probably going to have a different set of criteria or dynamics that we want to meet. But the education and the quality of the education here is fantastic. I've had the opportunity to speak to a couple of the teachers and to observe some of the students' work and, in, in fact, speak to a couple of the pupils as well, which was fantastic. And you know, what I would say is, you know, if there's a taste a day or you've got an opportunity to let your daughter experience a day at Queen's, absolutely do that. That really, really sealed the deal for Amelia. Um, but I know, I guess, some of my questions certainly um, are questions that you might want to ask another parent or somebody that is, you know, already has a child here. And, you know, perhaps some of those um, less practical questions that you don't necessarily want to ask the teachers or the pupils. And if that is the case, um, definitely speak to the team. I'm, I'm more than happy to speak to anyone um, considering picking Queen's for their daughter's journey. We did hesitate coming into year nine. We wondered, is it too late? Is it silly to make a move? What should we do? But I have to say from week one, we were just so relieved. Uh, we're so happy that we made the decision. And I think if you're considering the same at any stage of your daughter's journey, you won't regret it.